You know, I'm, I'm so impressed with ARS, Mike. I've been out there. I've seen your shop. I've seen some of the things you do. And, again, um, I, I love your slogan. You know, when disaster happens, ARS restores your peace of mind. And one of the things, as we take a look at this house, there are a lot of items here. And you guys come in and do exactly what? We come in with a team of people and uh, who have been trained, of course, and we inventory everything. Uh, we make sure, and we do it by room, actually. Um, so everything is written down and it's and put into boxes, and the boxes are labeled. Everything is carefully packaged so that nothing gets broken. Um, and we work with the homeowner on that. Sometimes there's items that. Uh, they don't want anybody to touch. Mm -hmm. And so we let them take care of those items. We help them with the insurance part of it. The insurance company is going to want an inventory. And uh, so we can help them with that. And um, we just take very special care and we, and we document everything that we do. Uh, the other thing that we do is the insurance company is going to want to know what items can be cleaned mm -hmm. and which items can't be cleaned, which items are going to have to be replaced. And uh, we can, with our expertise, we can tell people this can be cleaned, um, this can't be cleaned, or this can be cleaned, but it's going to cost more to clean it than it's worth doing. Well, and, and that's that's what's so impressive to me is you individualize each item. And that's important to a family because some of these things have been in the family for a long time. There's family heirlooms, there's antiques, there's things that maybe not mean a lot to you personally, but they mean a lot to that family. That's right. Everybody has things that can't be replaced, and they may not have a lot of value to us, but we assume everything has value to the to the owner. And, and uh, again, you come into each room, you individualize it, you mark those boxes, you obviously you know where it goes. That's right. And uh, and then we take it all and we, we store it in a place where it's climate controlled and it's not mixed in with anybody else's contents. Mm. Um, and if people need to get to it, we can find it easily and, and, and help them get some of the items if they need them. One of the other things that we do, which I almost forgot to mention, mm. is that people need clothes. Mm. And so we can come in and get two weeks worth of clothing. Mm. and process that clothing and get it back to them within a day or two so that they have clothes to wear. Okay, so you've got all this, you box it up, you take it down to your shop, then what's the process? Then it's unboxed and unwrapped and each item is individually cleaned. And, and when I say cleaned, I'm talking about Q-tips and cotton balls and special cleaners. Um, and it depends on the item, how it's cleaned. Obviously, clothing can be laundered. Uh, but uh, some items actually have to be taken apart and carefully cleaned inside and out. And then once the item is cleaned, it's re-inventoried, repackaged, reboxed, and stored. One of the other things that we have in our shop is what we call an ozone room. We're able to take items, once they've been cleaned, put them in the ozone room, treat them with the ozone process, which removes any lingering smoke smell so that everything that they receive is not only clean, but it has no odor. Mm -hmm. What kind of chemicals do you use down there to do that? It depends on what we're cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, something as simple as laundry soap for uh, mm -hmm. clothing, uh, but we have special cleaners. There's a variety of them that are all safe to use. They're, they're not going to damage the items we're cleaning. cleaning. And uh, we just, uh, w there's, there's chemicals that are out there in the industry that we're, that we're aware of that we use that work really well. Well, and, and again, these are things that you wouldn't normally have in your everyday household kinds of things that you guys specialize in. That's why you're the professionals. That's why you can literally restore some of these things to look exactly the way they were before. That's correct. Uh, Maybe even better in some cases. That's right. That's right. Because not everything we get was clean to start with. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we have um, access to the chemicals that are out there that have been tested and that have, have been tried and are true and, and that work for each particular circumstance. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of something like a little girl's blanket or a little toy that she grew up with or, or you know, maybe it's a woman now who had that toy when she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. Those are the kinds of things that, again, may not mean much to us, but to them that is a lifelong of memories. And that, that's right. And, and what we have to do is put ourselves in a mindset. What if these were my items? What if this was my grandmother's items? Right. And uh, that's the kind of care that we have to take. That's the kind of mindset that we have to take with these items.
And again, this house that we're in, uh, you, you're in that process right now. You, you've got it in boxes. You're trying to inventory. You're trying to do all those things. And, and that, that takes a while just to get that done as well. Right. We're in the very beginning stages uh, in this particular case. And, and it does take a while because of the care we, we do take. Uh, it's a process of, of a number of days with a number of people mm -hmm. just to inventory and box everything up to remove it from the house. And again, you have places down there that you store it, you keep it safe, you keep it dry, and all those other things. That's correct. We have uh, a number of vaults and storage rooms in our facility that are climate controlled. They're, they're safe. No one can get in there, and um, they protect the, the items. I tell you, it really does make sense when you think about this slogan. You guys create that peace of mind and, and when there is a disaster, and that is impressive to me. Again, if people want to get a hold of you, where can they reach you? We can be reached at area code 435-753-9600, and we're located in North Logan at 3120 North Main. Okay, there you have it. Mike, thank you. Thank you.